When my husband and I got married in 1992, we did that thing that I think all newlywed couples do. We talked about our hopes and our dreams for the future. We dreamed and hoped we'd start our own family. We hoped that we'd raise them with our values. We hoped that someday we would have kids to, grandkids to spoil and that we'd grow old together. So when Jim's doctor told us in May of 2014 that his illness was terminal, we grieved. We grieved the loss of those things that we knew we were not going to see together. And our boys grieved with us because every day cortical basal degeneration took a little bit more of Jim away from us. First it was the use of his hands. Then his balance got really awful and there were a lot of falls. Then it was his ability to clothe himself, feed himself, groom himself, or to find the words that he so desperately wanted to say. At the end, the dementia left him with the mind of about a six or seven year old. We did realize some of those dreams. You heard me just mention our boys. Our oldest turned 24 last week, and our youngest is 21, and we did raise them to be wonderful young men. I am so proud of them. When Jim died on January 13th, 2018, our boys were 22 and 19. Jim was 19 when his dad died, and there was a constant longing for all those things his dad had missed. Marriages, births, knowing his grandkids. And I know that my boys are gonna have that same longing for Jim, and I hope that they will be remember, able to remember all those wonderful things about their dad before he was sick. I hope that I have shown the strength that they've needed to help them grieve over the last 16 months. I hope that this hole in my heart will start to not feel like it's the size of an ocean. I hope that I will be able to love our future daughters-in-laws and grandkids enough for both of us. And I hope that the stories I tell my grandkids will help them to feel like they know their grandfather. The night that Jim died, it had been a long day of watching and wondering and waiting, and I was exhausted. So at about midnight, I told Jim, I'm gonna go lay down just for an hour, but Christian, our oldest is gonna be here with you. And about half an hour later, Christian came running in, and he was frantic, and he said, Mom, something's wrong. Dad's breathing really hard, and he's got his arm out, up, reaching out. And so I jumped up out of bed, and by the time I got to the living room, he was gone. It wasn't until after the funeral and all the family had gone home that I started thinking about Christian saying that Jim had had his hand raised in the air. Jim had been unconscious for 48 hours. How could he have his hand raised up in the air. And then it hit me. Someone had come and was there, and he was reaching out to them to take him to the other side. I hope it was his dad that he had longed for all those years, and that his mom and his brother were with them. And I hope that in those last minutes of my life, someone sees me with my hand reached to the sky, because my Jimmy will be there to take me home. I hope. Thank you.